If an individual encounters an ant that they don't know what it is and they want to find out, the first step is to contact a county agent if possible and uh, bring them specimens of these ants. A lot of times we get samples that really aren't good samples. And let's start with that. You know, we get samples that are put in envelopes and mailed to us and they get all broken up and we can't really use that. We get samples a lot of times where they take tape and they put the ants on tape, which seems like a good idea until you're trying to roll the ants around and take a look at them and they all fall apart. So we don't want samples like that. We want whole samples, fresh samples. Uh, we need to be able to look at the antenna and count how many segments are on the antenna. We need to look at the arrangement of hairs. So we need a pretty specific sample with that. We'd like to have a good representation 20 ants or more is really helpful. Uh, put them in a small vial. They can, you can put some tissue paper in there, a small jar. Uh, if you have a Ziploc bag and, you, and that's the only way to carry them, put some tissue paper, paper towel in there around so they don't get smashed. You can zip that up, put it in a freezer, freeze them and kill them and bring them in that way. We want to know where you got it. So an address or GPS coordinates are going to be very important. What type of habitat, you know, was it uh, open and disturbed, grassy? Is it under trees or on trees? You know, where did you collect this thing uh, and what was the habitat like? We want to know who collected it and some contact information so we can call back with some further, further questions if we, if we have them. But one of the best places to do is take it to your county extension office. Uh, odds are with, with tawny crazy ants, they're going to need help and they can send it to a specialist within their own state and ship it to them for, for appropriate ID and that will get it going into the right channels.